Hi, welcome to a Gaim Labs tutorial for vProxy for VMware. Networker vProxy provides you with the ability to perform virtual machine protection. It supports a number of recoveries, including non admin file level recovery, FLR, and instant access, which enables immediate access to VMs on data domain. This demonstration is for vProxy 3.0.1 and Networker 18.2.0. Make sure to create a DNS entry for your vProxy before starting. Start by deploying your OVF template. Give a name to your virtual machine. Select where you want it to be hosted. Review your details and read your license agreements. Select your virtual disk format and VM storage policy. Select your network. Insert your FQDN, network IP address, default gateway, DNS, time zone setting, and password setting. Review all your current settings. Now wait for it to deploy. Finally, power on your vProxy. Now it's time to add your vCenter to your network or server. Insert your hostname, username, and password for your vCenter. Wait until your vCenter appears in your VMware view. Install the vCenter plugins for Flash and or HTML. Head to the Devices tab to add your vProxy to your networker. Make sure to correctly pick your vProxy. Include your admin password. Review and register. Now let's head to the protection tab to add our new group. Select your group type as VMware. Select the virtual machines you would like to back up. Now that that's done, let's head to our Policies tab to create a new policy and add a workflow.
make sure to select a group. Select the proper destination pool. Ensure that your workflow is enabled. Let's start the job to test it out. The following shows our job to completion. Thank you for watching.